more. And here's one nodule. guy has a pseudomorphine here you can see the pseudomorph spray growing up like this like fingers wait till till we cut it so you can see that it has some quartz over here and some yellow banding and we have these two pseudomorphs growing up all the way up so this is gonna be a really tough one to cut but either way we cut it, if we cut it like sideways and cut the pseudomorph like that, it's probably gonna look really amazing. But look at this, it has another pseudomorph right on the middle of these two pseudomorphs, which is pretty amazing. I don't know if I should cut on top of the pseudomorph, on the back of the pseudomorph or sideways. So let's think about it. I think we're gonna cut it like this way to expose these crystals that are over here because this part is gonna be quartz. There's, I don't think there's a crystal that grew on this side. All the pseudomorph crystals are over here. So we're gonna cut it like this. See how it turns out. We put them on the 18 inch Highland Park slab saw. These machines are pretty awesome. If you're a lapidary guy, you should contact these guys and get a machine from them. They're amazing and really good prices. So let's check it. I think that's the best way. And let's see what we found. So this guy is ready. Let's see. All right. Yeah, I was right. One half. The top end has a lot of quartz and we intercepted the, the pseudomorph. Look at this guy. 
you can see closely to here that there's another finger over there the finger that grew from here and these other fingers i think it's pretty cool Look at this pseudomorph over here and the one over here. I think this is a pretty awesome rock.